lithium batteries are everywhere. From the smartphones we grip daily to the laptops on our desks and even the vacuum cleaners we use at home, lithium batteries quietly power much of our modern lifestyle. But beyond that convenience, there's a far greater truth. More than 95% of electric vehicles on the road today are powered by lithium-ion batteries. That single fact speaks volumes. It shows that lithium isn't just the default battery technology, it's the uncontested gold standard. And so far, no alternative has really come close to toppling its reign. But here's the uncomfortable reality. While the world races forward with technology in every direction, lithium-ion batteries haven't exactly kept pace. The truth is energy density improvements have been incremental at best, while cost reductions have slowed to a crawl. And as for the fire risks? Those haven't been fully solved either. Despite billions in R&D and years of refinement, lithium batteries still carry the threat of thermal runaway and combustion. That lingering danger, combined with stubbornly high costs, has held back the electric vehicle revolution from reaching true mass market adoption. And that's not a minor issue. It's a foundational one. Even with Tesla leading the way, revolutionizing battery design and driving down EV costs, there's only so far you can stretch a technology limited by its core chemistry. Elon Musk himself has been outspoken about the problem. In a moment of rare candor, Musk revealed how wild the cost of battery materials had become. He stated that the cost of lithium alone had jumped by 500% at one point, and that battery cell prices had effectively doubled during supply chain crunches. Let that sink in for a second. The most important company in electric vehicles, the one with arguably the most optimized supply chains in the world, is openly saying that the price of batteries, especially lithium-based ones, is out of control. If that's the case for Tesla, imagine how much worse it is for everyone else. This raises an important question. Is lithium really Tesla's long-term plan? Surprisingly, the answer might be no. Deep inside Tesla's most secretive R&D facilities, hidden behind the scenes of Giga Nevada and the company's sprawling global infrastructure, a new battery type is being quietly developed. One that could send shockwaves through the entire battery industry. It's not just a marginal improvement or a minor chemistry tweak. We're talking about something with the potential to obliterate lithium-ion batteries on multiple fronts. This new battery? It's called the aluminum-ion battery or more precisely, Tesla's A1 battery. And according to early reports, it's already achieving performance benchmarks that seem almost impossible. Think about this, three times the energy density of lithium-ion. Charging times that make so-called fast charging look sluggish longevity that spans decades, and costs that could cut Tesla vehicle prices nearly in half. It almost sounds too good to be true. But this isn't science fiction. It's what happens when Tesla applies its first principles thinking to battery science. Let's rewind a bit. Tesla's current batteries fall into three main categories, lithium iron phosphate, also known as LFP, used primarily in base Model 3s and Model YS, nickel manganese cobalt or NMC, used in long-range variants and the newer 4680 cylindrical cells now powering the Cybertruck. All of these rely heavily on lithium. And not just lithium. Most also include cobalt and nickel, two metals that are rare, expensive and often ethically problematic to source. That's one reason why the 4680 battery, despite its structural innovations and improved integration, is still more expensive than Tesla's earlier battery formats. It contains all three metals, lithium, cobalt and nickel. Even Musk has acknowledged that Tesla's internal battery production isn't yet cheaper than what they get from external suppliers. And that's a huge problem for scaling affordable EVs. Right now, the Cybertruck is the only vehicle using Tesla's in-house 4680 cells at scale. And the cheapest version of that truck still starts at nearly $70,000. It raises doubts about whether these advanced batteries can ever find their way into mass-market vehicles like the Model 3 or a future compact EV priced under $25,000. For years, Tesla has teased the idea of a truly affordable car, and while that dream is still alive, it's been delayed multiple times, largely because of battery costs. That's why the aluminum-ion battery matters. It's not just about performance, it's about removing lithium entirely. Imagine a world where Tesla no longer depends on the volatile pricing of lithium, nickel, or cobalt. Where battery production isn't tied to a handful of geopolitical hotspots. That's the world Tesla is trying to build with aluminum-ion technology. So how do aluminum-ion batteries work? At a basic level, they operate on the same principles as lithium-ion batteries. There's an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte that facilitates the movement of ions. But instead of lithium-ions moving between the anode and cathode, you have aluminum-ions. 
Here's where things get exciting. Aluminum carries a 3 plus charge, meaning each ion transports 3 units of energy versus lithium's 1. That's a threefold increase in potential energy transport per ion. In chemistry terms, that's huge. What does this mean in practice? It means aluminum ion batteries can deliver far higher energy density than lithium ion counterparts, even without exotic materials or complex engineering. Early real world tests from Tesla's labs suggest energy densities exceeding 700 watt hours per kilogram at the cell level. That's more than triple the density of today's best LFP cells and nearly three times the density of even the most advanced NMC batteries used in Tesla's long range vehicles. Let's put that in context. A current Tesla Model 3 long range with a 79 kilowatt hour NMC battery delivers about 346 miles of range. That battery has an energy density of roughly 180 to 200 watt hours per kilogram. Now imagine replacing that with a same size aluminum ion battery at 700 watt hours per kilogram. Suddenly, your range skyrockets. You're not talking 340 miles anymore. You're looking at over 1,000 miles, potentially more. Of course, real world packs include thermal systems, structural casing, and electrical interconnects, all of which add weight and reduce effective energy density. So at the pack level, aluminum ion batteries might only achieve around 500 to 550 watt hours per kilogram. Even so, that's still over double the performance of Tesla's current best packs. A realistic driving range for a Model 3 or Model Y with this tech. Around 767 miles. Easily. And then there's the cost advantage. While lithium is relatively rare, aluminum is not. It's actually the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust accounting for more than 8% of the planet's solid material. The raw material, bauxite, is found in over 50 countries from Australia to Guinea, Brazil to India. Global reserves exceed 1.5 billion tons. Compare that to lithium's 89 million tons and you start to see the potential. Tesla could secure vast aluminum reserves without relying on supply chains dominated by China or the so-called lithium triangle of Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. That alone reduces geopolitical risk but more importantly, it cuts costs. Projections suggest that once scaled, aluminum ion batteries could be produced for as little as $40 to $65 per kilowatt hour. Contrast that with lithium ion batteries, which currently cost between $80 and $145 per kilowatt hour depending on chemistry. Take the Model Y, which uses between 67 and 82 kilowatt hours of battery depending on variant. If we assume a lithium pack cost of around $139 per kilowatt hour, that places the battery cost somewhere between $9,300 and $11,400. Now imagine replacing that with an aluminum ion pack at $55 per kilowatt hour. Suddenly, the battery cost drops to around $4,300. That's a savings of $5,000 to $7,000 per vehicle. That cost reduction alone could be the key to unlocking a sub $25,000 Tesla. And when paired with gigacasting, simplified interiors, and direct to consumer sales, Tesla could reach price points that legacy automakers simply can't match. Then comes charging. Lithium-ion batteries typically need 25 to 35 minutes to reach 80% using a fast charger. That's pretty fast by historical standards. But aluminum-ion batteries make that look slow. Because aluminum ions carry more charge and move more quickly through the electrolyte they can be charged far faster. Lab tests suggest full charge in just 15 minutes, without overheating or degradation. Thermal management is also superior. Aluminum is more chemically stable than lithium. It doesn't react explosively with water or oxygen. Instead, it forms a protective oxide layer, shielding it from corrosion and allowing for safer operation. That's a big deal. Lithium-ion batteries are notoriously flammable under the right conditions. Aluminum-ion batteries? Not so much. In fact, they may be practically fireproof under normal operating conditions. Longevity is another win. While lithium-ion batteries typically last about 2,000 cycles before dropping to 80% capacity, a useful lifespan of around 3 to 5 years, aluminum-ion batteries could potentially last 15,000 cycles. That's up to 30 years of use. One battery, one vehicle, three decades. The reason? Aluminum stability and the absence of dendrite formation. Dendrites, tiny metal filaments that grow during charging, are one of the main reasons lithium-ion batteries degrade over time. They can pierce the battery separator, causing short circuits and fires. Aluminum ion batteries don't suffer from this issue, at least not in the same way. The uniform release of aluminum ions reduces the chance of dendrite formation, ensuring consistent performance over time. 
and if all that wasn't enough, aluminum ion batteries are also more recyclable. Up to 80% of aluminum fluoride salts can be recovered during processing. The solid aluminum foil used in the anode can be cleaned and reused. This makes the aluminum ion battery a near-perfect candidate for a closed-loop recycling system, dramatically reducing its environmental footprint. Of course, no technology is perfect. And aluminum ion batteries have one key weakness, performance in cold weather. At low temperatures, their conductivity drops, reducing power output and charge efficiency. It's a problem researchers are actively working on. But for now, it limits the application of aluminum ion batteries in extreme climates. Still, that's a solvable challenge. With enough investment, it's likely only a matter of time. Tesla plans to produce these aluminum ion cells at an expanded facility adjacent to Giga Nevada. Equipment installation is already underway. Full-scale production could begin by the end of this year. If successful, this would give Tesla complete vertical integration over the most advanced battery tech on Earth, produced entirely on U.S. soil. The implications? Massive. With ultra-fast charging, a projected lifespan of 30 years, and the possibility of cutting vehicle costs in half, aluminum ion batteries could push Tesla light years ahead of the competition. A 700-mile Model 3? A sub-$20,000 compact EV? A robo-taxi that never needs a new battery for decades? It's all possible. The only real question is whether Tesla can solve the low-temperature challenge and scale production fast enough to meet demand. If they can, this isn't just an evolution. It's a revolution. Lithium-ion batteries built the first wave of the EVH. But aluminum-ion could build the future. What do you think? Is Tesla about to change the game once again with A1 battery cells? Let us know your thoughts. And if you're excited about the future of EVs and battery tech, make sure you stay locked into Torque Element. We're just getting started.